TV. My name is Colleen Taylor. I'm here in Las Vegas at the Consumer Electronics Show. And sitting with me are Jamie Vandenberg from Clarity and Frank Endress from Clear Caption. And the two of your companies have partnered up for this device that we have sitting right here. Jamie, can you tell me what we're looking at? Yeah, so um, we call this the Ensemble, which is kind of aptly named because it's the uh, effort of the both companies. And we're kind of di very different types of companies, but we both work in the area of communication disabilities for people. Uh, so we've been, uh, for the last 40 years, making phones and other communication products for people with communication disabilities. And that can be anything from very severely disabled, like quadriplegics and paraplegics, and we make products specifically for them. But a lot of our products are just amplified products, because that's uh, a growing part of, of the uh, disability issue. There's about 36 million people with hearing loss, and that, that is growing all the time. So what this is, this is a, an amplified phone. And amplification sounds simple in itself, but it's all about making it clearer rather than just loud. So there's a lot of technology that goes into that. We like to describe it as a hearing aid in the phone. So you have that. Uh, but what this also does is it allows uh, captioning to happen at the same time as you're listening to the conversation. And that makes it, makes it a lot easier to understand what's going on. And that's where Frank comes into the story because they, they provide the captioning on, on the product. And so this is the amplification section. Yes. Not just louder, but clearer. And this is the screen. where Yeah, so it has this large screen. And I'm not sure you can see it probably here. But the nice thing about that is you can adjust it so the, the screen size on the buttons, if you, if you have arthritis, for example, it's much easier to hit the buttons because you can make them bigger. Uh, when you're reading the, the captioning, you can scroll and make that bigger or smaller. You can change the contrast on the screens. You can change the colors on the screens. You know, some people have an easier time reading blue rather than green. So you can change all that, that uh, in, the, in the setup. The other thing that it has, which is, is very nice, is something we call Clarity Logic is that we have our own call center here and, and we, we take a lot of calls from people helping them with their, their issues. But we can do remote diagnostics on this phone. So if somebody phones us and they say, I'm not quite sure how this works, I'm having trouble uh, setting up my speed dial with phone numbers, we can go in and, and help them with that remotely without them having to do anything. So, so that's a very nice feature. Now, Frank, explain to me how the captioning works because I know sometimes television captioning, you know, it can be a little hit or miss. And I know when I'm talking to my friends on the phone, they might not, you know, be as clear as someone who's a television presenter. So, so how does this captioning work on a telephone? So, you know, Jamie was mentioning this is a combination of the two companies. They're providing amplification. We're providing captioning. And for somebody that's having difficulty hearing, that's losing their hearing, oftentimes the first symptom that they'll have of their hearing loss is difficulty hearing on the telephone. And so. <clears throat> Uh, Clarity will amplify the sound. We're providing captions, and those captions are generated actually by a captioner. Uh, this phone uses a phone line and an internet connection. The internet connection connects it to our captioning center, and there's actually an individual, it's, the, it's an FTC regulated service, um, and it's provided to the consumer at no cost. It's a free so service. This is a human being when you say a captioner, that's, captioner, that's yes. a person. That's yeah. correct, and what yeah. they do is they hear just the incoming side of the conversation, and then they immediately revoice it into voice recognition software that's trained to their voice. And that allows the captioning to be accurate and in near real time. Now, that sounds great, but I have to ask about the privacy here. I mean, phone calls are pretty private thing. Yeah, there's, um, as I mentioned, it's an FCC provided and certified service. It's a very highly regulated industry. We're one of only three companies in the country that, that provide a service of this nature. And there's quite a bit of, of uh, uh, security and privacy built in all of the agents that do this, they're all doing it in a controlled environment. Nobody's doing this you know, from their home. Um, it's in regulated call centers. They are all bonded. They're all under non-disclosure agreements. You're Nobody's audited. allowed. You're, What's audited. That? You're audited on a regular Correct. basis. Correct, we're audited. Yeah. Uh, every year we have to reapply for certification. Yeah. Um, okay. Nobody's allowed into that production floor unless they have a reason to be there. Uh, no pens, paper, cell phones, none of that is allowed in there. Um, so you're saying it's pretty secure. It Very is extremely secure, secure yes. <laughs> and and to my knowledge, there's never been any breach of security. Now, I also want to ask what kind of a market, you know, who, who is going to buy a phone like this? How, how big is this addressable market here? Well, well go, ahead. go ahead. I was going to say that, you know, there, as Jamie mentioned, I think earlier, there's about 36 million Americans, most recent statistics, that have some level of hearing loss. And, you know, when somebody has hearing loss and, and they have difficulty using the telephone, because the telephone is such a central component to how people communicate, 
if they can't use a telephone effectively, they sort of become disconnected. People don't want to call them and talk to them because it's difficult. Yeah. And they also lose some measure of independence. For a really important phone call, like you know, talk, calling a doctor or an attorney, they may hand the phone call off to somebody else and now they've sort of lost their ability to, to be independent. So it's, it's yeah. they say it's about one in 10 Americans and it's actually progressing towards, the most recent studies say about one in five Americans over the age of 12 have some yeah. level of hearing loss. So the demographics are changing. So I think there's 10,000 boomers turning seniors every day. So there's that part of it. But you're also finding more hearing loss amongst younger people because of everything that's going on around you, the ambient noise level. Yeah, I don't know but if you can hear it at home, but there's some loud music going on next yeah. door. And so it's definitely party central here in Las Vegas. <laughs> the nice thing about the service is that it's free for the end user. So they don't they don't pay anything. They buy the phone and it's all taken care of. And how much is this device itself? Two twenty nine. Uh, MSRP. And available right now? Is available that? right now, yeah. Great. Yeah. Well, yeah. the Clarity Ensemble. Yeah. Thank you, Jamie and Frank, for Thank coming by. Thank you so by. much. Thanks. Thanks.